Hi there, Doug Stimulin with IT Creations with one of Supermicro's super server platforms, the 4029 GP TRT2. Naming conventions aside, and we'll get to that, this system offers dual sockets of Intel Xeon scalable processor goodness, 24 storage bays up front, and up to six terabytes of memory. But the real surprise is under the front cover panel with support for up to 10 NVIDIA GPUs. Let's take a look. What's this system good for? Artificial intelligence, big data analytics, high performance computing, astrophysics, business intelligence, and a few other high performance computing needs. This is a 4U chassis, so there is quite a bit of room in there for expansion. But once you load up the 10 GPUs, it's looking just a wee bit cramped. The two processors support a dual PCI root complex fabric with two PCI Express PLX switch devices. This enables the 48 PCI lanes supported on each processor to support all 10 of those GPUs in by 16 PCIe slots by switching the PCIe bus data flow. This enables a large number of peripheral devices, like those GPUs, to connect to the processors in memory. If my calculations are correct, once you put 10 of those GPUs in there, you're going to see some serious shit. The front of the system is divided into six bays with three on top and three below. The three bays on top don't support storage. The three bays below will support eight 2.5 inch drives in each bay for a total of 24 storage devices. A control panel on the lower left of the server ear has the on off button with status LED lights below indicating power, hard drives, network connection for LAN 1, network connections for LAN 2, a universal information LED, and a power fail LED. Those last two seem kind of redundant, but let's check out the back of the server. Are you interested in the Supermicro Super Server 4029 GP TRT2 4U Beast? Because if you are, then for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off a system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. Click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just give us a call and mention this video. We have all the parts on hand to custom configure to your specifications, including those NVIDIA Titan V GPUs. Or is that a five? I mean, it kind of looks like a Roman numeral. Could be a five, could be a, could be a V. I don't know, what do you think? From the top down, rows of PCIe slots line the entire top of the system. Below that, you'll see two plus two 2,000 watt titanium level power supplies on either side of the chassis. Between the PSUs, there's a fairly standard assortment of ports, including one RJ45 port specifically to access the intelligent platform management interface. Four USB 3.0 ports, two more RJ45 10 gigabit ethernet LAN ports, and a VGA port. Of course, for enhanced network communications, you can install additional network controllers using one or two of the PCIe slots. We'll see those in a moment. First off, the cover panel, if you have the GPUs in this GPU system, then you may need an optional cover panel that provides a little more clearance for the GPU power and signal cables. Otherwise, you'll get a standard flat cover panel, not with the bump. Before we get too deep into this review, let's take a look at the elephant in the room. The naming convention. This is a serial number type assortment of numbers and letters, or maybe a randomly generated password. I'm pretty sure there is a method to this madness here, but come on, the 4029 GP TRT2? There are about three more chassis that start with 4029 GP. The only difference between them is the daughter board used in the system and the number of GPUs supported. For other manufacturers, this would be an option on a base chassis, not another SKU. Oh, and the 4029 GP TRT2 does not flow off the tongue. Let's move on. Opening the case, there are eight large hot swap cooling fans just behind the backplane. Then you see the motherboard with dual sockets and 12 memory module slots per processor. The PCI expansion board sits on top of the PSUs with two PLX switches to support the 12 PCIe slots. The processors supported include both Gen 1 and Gen 2 Intel Xeon scalable processors with up to 28 cores, and no 9200 series CPU support on this one either. But you do get support for the top of the line 8100 and 8200 Platinum processors. No surprises there. Oh, and that lever that says pull on the edge of the PCI expansion board? Don't pull that. There are at least 10 screws to remove before that lever comes into play. Underneath is where you'll find a micro SD card and a connector for a single M.2 SSD. The new Gen 2 Intel Xeon scalable CPUs support memory speeds of up to 2933 megatransfers per second. Using Gen 1 processors will provide 2666 megatransfers per second. Intel Optane persistent memory modules are supported with Gen 2 processors only and provide greater data resiliency and reduced latency. 
registered, load reduced, and Optane memory modules support up to six terabytes using 256 gigabyte memory modules in all 24 slots. It's hard to say at this point if this system will support the 512 gigabyte Optane memory modules when they become available, but if that is the case, then this system could potentially support a little over 12 terabytes of memory, but let's just stick to the specs for the time being. Management of this system is through the Intelligent Platform Management Interface 2.0 or IPMI LAN. The dedicated one gigabit ethernet port provides access to the base management controller or BMC for both on-site and remote management of the system. Super Doctor 5 is very similar to Dell's iDRAC management module and HPE's ILO module. Although truth be told, Supermicro's out-of-band management was not well regarded. That is until this version. SD5 seems to be getting some favorable reviews for its ease of use and intuitive graphical interface. There are 12 full length by 16 mechanical slots, 11 of which support a by 16 lane for data transmission, while only one has a by 16 mechanical slot with a by 8 lane. The middle slots can be used for HD controllers, additional storage in the form of M.2 PCI cards, or faster network cards for increased communication bandwidth. The others are specifically to support the up to 10 GPUs. The network connections on the back of the system include two RJ45 ports featuring 10 gigabit per second access speeds. And remember, the daughter board and the number of GPUs supported define this particular SKU. This system takes up to 10 GPUs and then includes 10 of those new Tesla Vector 100 GPUs with tensor cores. You can also choose from a few more Tesla computational accelerators and Quadro GPUs. Another version, the 4029GP-TVRT, features NVIDIA's NV Link board for 300 gigabit per second data transfer speeds compared to just 32 gigabits per second with a standard PCIe interface like on this system we have here. That one does seem kind of like a different SKU though. Storage supported on this system includes SATA, SAS, and NVMe drives. The system will support up to 24 SAS or SATA drives or 4 NVMe drives with up to 20 SAS or SATA drives. Only eight SATA drives and a maximum of two NVMe drives are supported natively with motherboard connections right off the backplane. For support of the extra drives and SAS, including those last two NVMe drives, you will need an optional HD RAID controller like the AOC S3108L-H8IR. For full RAID support, you can install the AOC S308L-L8I, which also has an unnecessarily long serial number name. That first one that I'm not going to repeat for obvious reasons is the performance model and supports eight internal ports of 12 gigabits per second plus up to 240 HDDs. It may have a name like a line item serial number on your receipt from your last oil change, but it delivers some serious performance with up to 10 GPUs powered by dual Intel Xeon scalable processors and up to six, maybe 12 terabytes of memory. Oh, and we did start this baby up because it was being configured for one of our customers. Check this out. Sounds kind of like a jet engine with all eight of those 92 millimeter fans spinning plus whatever hard disk drives you have, might have installed. And that's why these go in the server room. We do hope you enjoyed our short hardware review of the Supermicro Super Server 4029GP-TRT2 server. IT Creations carries this server and many others. With a warehouse that looks like Home Depot, we have the parts on hand to custom configure to your specifications and send it out for next day delivery. We really appreciate you watching. And if you want these videos delivered right to your inbox, subscribe. And like this video if you liked it. If you have any comments or questions, post them in the comments section below. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.